1300 hours pakistan standard time assalamu alaikum this is radio pakistan the news read by hasan gilani first the headlines foreign minister has reaffirmed pakistan's determination to continue to play a positive role for regional peace and security admiral amjad khan niazi has taken charge as the new naval chief At the United Nations, Pakistan has underscored the importance of non-interference in domestic affairs of sovereign states. In Indian illegally occupied Jammu and Kashmir, Indian troops in their fresh acts of state terrorism martyred three youth in Shopian district today. And now the news in detail. Foreign Minister Shah Mahmood Qureshi has reaffirmed Pakistan's determination to continue to play a positive role for regional peace and security including Afghan peace process. He made the remarks during his telephonic conversation with his Turkish counterpart Mevlid Cavusoglu. Foreign Minister thanked Turkish counterpart for his country's consistent and categorical stance on Kashmir dispute. He said Turkish President Recep Tayyip Erdogan raised voice of oppressed Kashmiri people at the 75th session of the UN General Assembly and this has given courage and confidence to Kashmiri people. He said it's a matter of satisfaction that both the countries share identical views. The Turkish Foreign Minister was appreciative of the steps taken by Pakistan for regional peace including its efforts for peace in Afghanistan. Adviser on Commerce Razak Daud has said promoting exports and value addition is priority of the government. He was talking to the country director of World Bank in Islamabad today. They discussed matters of mutual interests. Admiral Amjad Khan Niazi has taken charge as the new naval chief at the change of command ceremony in Islamabad today. Outgoing naval chief Admiral Zafar Mahmood Abbasi handed over the command scroll to new naval chief. Speaking on the occasion, outgoing naval chief Zafar Mahmood Abbasi said Admiral Amjad Khan Niazi has a distinguished career and expressed the confidence that he will lead Pakistan Navy to new heights. 642 new cases of coronavirus surfaced in the country whilst the contagion claimed lives of 12 more people during the last 24 hours according to latest statistics the figure of patients recovered from the virus has reached 301288 there are now 8528 active cases in the country At the United Nations, Pakistan says Hong Kong affairs are China's internal matters and underscored importance of non-interference in domestic affairs of sovereign states. This was stated by Pakistan's permanent representative to the United Nations, Ambassador Munir Akram, while speaking for 55 countries at a UN panel. Akram stated this after responding to a statement made by Germany on behalf of a group of mainly western countries that expressed concern at impact of China's new national security law on human rights in Hong Kong. Pakistani envoy said Hong Kong special administrative region is an inalienable part of China and Hong Kong affairs are China's internal affairs that brook no interference by foreign forces. In Indian illegally occupied Jammu and Kashmir, Indian troops in their fresh act of state terrorism martyred three youth in Shopian district today. The troops martyred the youth during a cordon and search operation in Sugan area of the district. Meanwhile, addressing a meeting in Srinagar, senior Hurriyat leader Ghulam Muhammad Khan Sopuri said Kashmiri youth are sacrificing their lives for a sacred cause of liberating their homeland from Indian yoke. He said world body must acknowledge these sacrifices and initiate measures to settle the lingering dispute to save the Kashmiris from Indian brutalities. So police paid glowing tributes to youth who were martyred by Indian troops in Sugan area of Shopian today. In India, Congress leader Rahul Gandhi says Narendra Modi is not bothered about what is happening in the country and he only protects his image. Talking to media during a farmers rally in Punjab, Rahul said several institutions including the media have been captured by BJP regime. In Syria, 19 people have been killed in a car bomb attack in Al-Bab town in Aleppo province. According to rescue sources, 80 people have also been injured in the attack. And this is the end of the news. For more news and analysis, log on to our website radio.gov.pk and also watch live video streaming of our bulletins on the link facebook.com/radiopakistan-news-official.